गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद नेक्स्ट टॉपिक कॉल्ड आउट ब्रीडिंग डिवाइजेस और कॉन्ट्रावाइंसिस फॉर पॉलिनेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट आउट ब्रीडिंग डिवाइजेस देर आर सर्टन प्लांट्स which have developed certain mechanism in order to prevent the self pollination right okay so when you talk about cross pollination to favor the cross pollination and to increase the genetic variability in plants there are certain sexual strategies which are been developed that is generally called as outbreeding devices so let's talk about the outbreeding devices the first outbreeding devices is unisexuality right uni stands for one right okay so unisexuality here the unisexual flowers are generally present on the different plants now unisexual flowers are the flowers which will contain either male or the female gamete this is called also as diocesum now here as the unisexual flowers are present it will generally avoid the self pollination self pollination is not possible it may be monoecious plant or dioecious plant monoecious means a single plant having male and a female flower and dioecious means two different plants are present right having distinct male and the female flower the best example for the monoecious plant is maize and the best example for the dioecious plant is papaya or mulberry second outbreeding devices is dicogamy di stands for two and gamy stands for marriage right now when i talk about dicogamy dicogamy is a type of a device where the maturation of the anther and the stigma takes place at two different times that means that the maturation of the androecium and the gynoecium takes place at two different times dicogamy is of two different type first is called as protendry and second is called protogyny first one protendry pro stands for first and endry stands for endroecium so protendry is a type of a condition where the development or the maturation of the endroecium will be done first and then followed by the gynoecium that is the maturation of the anther is first and then followed by the stigma that is called protendry the best example for the protendry is sunflower right second is protogyny proto stands for first and gyny stands for gynoecium so what happens in protogyny is that in protogyny the maturation of the gynoecium will take first and then followed by the endroecium that is the stigma will be matured earlier and then followed by the anther the best example for protogyny is gloriosa or four o'clock plant which is also called as mirabilis jalapa right the third outbreeding devices is prepotency pre is earlier now what happens in the prepotency is that the germination of the pollen grain of other flower takes place on the stigma much more quickly or rapidly rather than the pollen grain which is present on the same flower right isn't it it means that germination of the pollen grain of other flower takes place more rapidly on the stigma as compared to the pollen grain which is generally present on the same flower right that's why it is generally called as prepotency the best example for the prepotency is apple fourth one that is fourth outbreeding devices is heterostyly hetero stands for different and styly stands for style so here the flowers are generally going to produce two different length of the style say example in a plant like prime rose there are two to three different types of a flower having different location of the stigma and anther it means that stigma and anther are generally located on different location right if the stigma and anther are placed at two different point then the pollen grain cannot easily uh, pollinate on the stigma of a flower this process is generally called as heterostyly the best example is prime rose right next one that is fifth one is generally called as hercogamy hercogamy is the only mechanical device which is generally used to prevent self pollination now what happens in her hercogamy is that this generally takes place in a plant like example calatropis right calatropis is a type of a plant where pentaangular right pentaangular stigma is generally developed over the 
anther that is hercogamy and the last one sixth one is generally called self sterility or self incompatibility self sterility is the only genetic mechanism where or you can say it is the only genetic mechanism due to which the germination of the pollen grain on the stigma of the same flower is inhibited right it means that the germination of the pollen grain on the stigma of the same flower is avoided as the germination will not takes place the pollen grain will not deposit on the stigma of the flower and as the pollination will not takes place there is no fertilization and that's why the process is called as self sterility or self incompatibility the best example for the self sterility is tobacco and potato The next topic is pollen pistil interaction. So we get two words that is pollen and pistil. Correct, isn't it? Pollen is pollen grain coming from the anther, and pistil is gynoecium containing style stigma and ovary. So there is the interaction of the pollen grain on the stigma of the gynoecium. Now in this pollen pistil interaction, first the pollen grain gets deposited on the stigma of the flower and leads to the formation of a long pollen tube through the germaphore. You know very well whenever the cytoplasm volume increases, the intine ruptures from the germaphore and it leads to the formation of a pollen tube. Now the content of the pollen grain will definitely enter into the pollen tube. What content? That is the male gamete and the cytoplasm will enter into the pollen tube. Correct? Okay. Once the pollen tube is ready, now the pollen tube will start growing. It will pass through the tissues of the stigma. It will pass through the entire length of the style and finally will reach to the ovary. Once the pollen tube reaches towards the ovary, that is at the micropylar end, one of the synergid cell having filiform apparatus will provide a proper direction and a passage for the entry of the pollen tube towards the ovary. Right? Okay. This is generally an entire mechanism which generally involves first deposition of the pollen grain on the stigma of the flower. Then there is the formation of a pollen tube. It will pass through the entire length of the style and will enter through the micropyle into the ovary. This interaction starting from the deposition of the pollen grain on the stigma and the entry of the pollen tube towards the ovary is called as pollen pistil interaction. Now what happens in this pollen pistil interaction is that you can say that the ability or the tendency of this pistil which is nothing but gynoecium right to identify or to recognize the pollen grain is due to the stimulation of the chemical. That means that the ability of the gynoecium or the pistil to recognize the pollen grain is due to the secretion of a chemical from the pollen grain. We know very well that the exine of the pollen grain is generally made up of a chemical component called as poropollenin. That plays an important role in recognizing the pollen grain for the gynoecium. This process is called as pollen pistil interaction.